Queenstown. Where are you from? Rotorua. Wanganui. Rotoiranga. I'm joined now by the amazing Roman from Kolohekai. Aloha. Aloha, my brother. It is nice to catch up with you. There's a bit of noise, obviously, yes, at the back. Yes. Radna's on stage, yes. but it's nice to, to have you uh, here with us this morning. Thank you. Um, how are you feeling about your performance coming up? I'm so excited. I haven't performed in six months. I had a voice problem, and so now I'm... I, I've been saving up my voice specifically for this show. Yeah. And I, I brought my parents with me. This is their first time to New Zealand ever. They know how important this show has always been to me and, and New Zealand and, 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 and as well as the rest of the members of Kolohe Kai. Um, very, very humbled and, and very privileged to be amongst you beautiful people again. This obviously isn't your first time though, eh? You've, no. you've done a few visits to New Zealand because you've got such a myriad of fans here. Thank you, yeah. Um, every... I have to be biased and say to every fan around the world that New Zealand has definitely our heart. So much to the fact that this was the first place we ever toured. We were 19 years old when we first came here and um, it was the first time we ever seen fans love our music anywhere else besides Hawaii. And um, to be back here and to know that the rest of the world is catching up in a, in a bit. We just want to know that, want everybody to know New Zealand is the OG gangsters yeah. of all Kaloi Kai fan base for sure. Awesome stuff. Now, I know that um, there are so many fans that are out there waiting for you to take to the stage, but I believe you've also got a new album you're going to be promoting, eh? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that new album. So this is a completely brand new album. Um, it's, it's entitled Summer to Winter, and I spent over the last five years recording and writing this, the longest recording time I ever spent in any album, and it was because I had a lot of uh, a lot of life experience that happened in that time. I was supposed to get married, didn't get married, got into a bad car accident, um, oh, wow. It was uh, I lost my voice and a lot of trials, but then also a lot of triumph in regards to a lot of beautiful moments. And so this album is the most diverse, most unique album I've ever written. And 10 new songs, it's a visual album, meaning that all these songs are going to be accompanied by music and lyric videos that also all tie into each other of what my life story was for the last five years. So I'm so excited. This is the first time I ever actually did music videos for an entire album and I'm, I'm very excited, yeah. I want to go back to that point you raised around losing your voice. That must have been terrifying, horrifying for yeah. you. That was the hardest time in my life. I, um, I, I feel like when I lost my voice, I lost a, a piece of me that I, I didn't think I would ever get back. And I, I would cry at home every day telling my mom and dad that I don't think I'll ever get to sing again. And um, I, I did therapy, physical, uh, voice therapy. I did everything I could. I, I couldn't talk for two months. I, wow. I had to do sign language and all kinds of different stuff to be able to communicate with people. It was kind of funny for my friends because I'm such a talkative person that when I couldn't talk, they thought it was funny, but it was really hard for me. Um, music is such a huge and at the same time I couldn't surf because I hurt my shoulder so it's like I couldn't surf I couldn't sing I couldn't talk and I was like I literally felt like I died and then uh, when I got my vo when a doctor I had to fly up to Los Angeles from Hawaii every month every every couple months and when he said that your voice looks like it's almost 100% and you, you can talk again you can sing again and you're not gonna hurt yourself I was so happy it was like it was like I was given life again and now this is the first time I'm back on stage in six months and um, I'm very, very humbled and very, very happy to be here. Oh, we are happy is an understatement, I think, for us. We're just so happy to have you back with us. And I, I don't think too many of your fans know that story around uh, you losing your voice. Thank you. What have you got planned for the future? What's uh, Now that you've got your voice back, um, you've recovered from the car accident, life's back on track, what else have you got? in the pipeline for us well next next uh, next year the ending of this year makes 10 year anniversary for Kolohe Kai oh congratulations thank, Ngamihi Nui <laughs> thank you so um, I'm deciding to re-record all of the old hits of Kolohe Kai in a new style 
but a very maybe some features we can try to get Jay Boog on we'll see what happens but I'm gonna do a best of Koloi Kai 10 year anniversary album planning to drop in the, the end of this year or the beginning of next year and then 2021 I have a new album coming out it's my fifth album I, I'm already writing the fifth album already so just let you, let you know every year expect to have more than enough Koloi Kai music to go around Kilda, thank you very much, Roman, for joining us. Um, it's been our pleasure and privilege on behalf of all the Reo Irirangi Māori, the Māori radio stations that are tuned in to us. Uh, thank you very much, and all the best for the performance here at One Love. Kotahi aroha. Thank you, aloha. Kotahi aroha, ki tauranga moana, hei kunei te mahi a te mahi.